Hello everyone, this is Richard. Welcome to another edition of Starfield Essentials. Do you think Starfield needs more space encounters? If the answer is yes and you play on PC, then the Dark Universe Crossfire mod by Chaos Nerb might be the answer. This mod adds a variety of space encounters, and I think it is a great way to compensate for some of the issues with fewer ships landing in the regular game. This mod is pretty simple to use. Basically, you go to your map while you're flying around the galaxy, and you select a star system, and you will see new types of ship events occur. In this case, I selected a faint signal, and when I traveled to the system, I found a stranded Varun Vigil. Now this stranded Varun Vigil talked a good game about how I was going to be attacked by the Great Serpent and all that kind of stuff. But it turns out this ship is stranded. It can't hurt you in the least. So you simply have to jet on over to it, board it, and deal with the crew as you see fit. And that's what I did in this case. Here's another scenario. I've been actually pretty busy in this system. This particular icon simply said ship. So I visited the location and I found Crimson Fleet and Ecliptic ships fighting each other, which I loved seeing factions attack each other because I just get to jump in there and attack both of them. And if I want to steal any of the ships after attacking them, I simply have to eliminate all but one ship. So this is another way that you can have more ship-based combat. Now here's a trickier mission. This is a urgent distress signal. And once I got on station, I found a Freestar Kafir 3 under attack by various spacer ships. And I've tried many of these, and usually the ship that's in duress just gets blown up right away. But I did the best I could. I went after the ships that were attacking the Freestar Kafir, and I destroyed them as quickly as I could. And I got down to one ship. There was just that one ship, and it was still firing against the Freestar ship. And I said, I know I can do this. I know I can do it. And I kept firing and firing, and then boom. I blew up the last spacer ship. Know what he said? Yeah. Need something? And that's what he said. He didn't care at all. I saved his life and he didn't care. So it was a fun mission, but the payout was pretty low there, but I let him fly away. Now, one of my favorite missions that you can get is something called Hostile Warp Signatures. And this can be a variety of different ship encounters. In this case, when I went to the system, I encountered Crimson Fleet fighting the first. And I haven't encountered the first ships elsewhere. I think this is added by the mod. Now, I may just be in a point in Starfield where I haven't seen this in my regular playthrough. I have encountered the first. I believe it's in the Free Star Ranger questline, but that was simply on the ground. And I got a chance to see their sweet uniforms. And as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted to add them to my character's arsenal. Usually I wear the red pirate captain gear, which is pretty cool looking as well. But as soon as I saw those, the first ships, I realized I needed to board these ships and grab myself some of those uniforms. I managed to get on board with both Astrid and a survivalist who I recruited using the stalker and followers mod. Got onto the first ship, dealt with a bunch of people outside of the bridge, and eventually made my way to the bridge. And I was happy to find one of the first officer outfits. Those are the coolest ones, I think. I think the uh, other first members are good. I can give those to NPCs, but I was particularly after that first officer outfit. So once I took them from the, the victims, I was able to get a look at them. And I'm not a big fan of the hat. Helmet is pretty silly. That first soldier outfit, I think that's a pretty good looking outfit. And I, I gave that to one of my crew members. This is the winner though. The first officer outfit. I think that's probably the coolest thing I've seen in the game. So this is what this character is going to wear from now on. I have one caveat concerning this mod, and it involves the way NPCs act. I encountered problems where NPCs would freak out during battles. I don't know if this has to do with the new factions that were involved with creating this mod, but as you can see in this clip, Marika's going crazy, she's considered an enemy, people are shooting at her. I was able to use solutions like going to Venus and sleeping for 24 hours to try to reset people's aggro levels, and that worked to a certain extent. So for example, I come back, talk to Marika, she's chill, she's fine. But in order to not encounter this problem repeatedly, because it is pretty annoying, I decided to leave all my companions behind, except for Astrid. As I've shown in previous videos, Astrid doesn't care what you do. So I wasn't able to use the Gangs All Here mod and have all my NPCs with me, but it's fun just to go out and do missions with Astrid. Now, I did board a lot of ships with Astrid and had no problems until I got to this one Varun ship, and I don't quite know what happened here. I was confused at first. It seemed as though everything was cool. Uh, but then Astrid was downed, so I decided to heal her because I thought that was the right thing to do to help her out. 
and as soon as I healed her, she went aggro on me. You can see the red dot is there and she's shooting at me and she hits with quite a punch. <laughs> so I had to spend a lot of time. Uh, first, I didn't even know what was going on. I thought maybe someone else had shot me from above, but I ended up having to do a lot of running away from Astrid. I was able to take the ship while running away from her. And eventually I was able to, I think I went to a planet and I was able to sleep and de-aggro her and she was totally fine. But uh, this just shows that there is some sort of weird interaction between the NPCs that you have and perhaps whatever code is controlling the NPCs that this mod creates. So just something to keep in mind. This might be the perfect mod for people who play solo, but as you can see, Astrid there is trying to take me out. She's got an ultra mag and uh, she's pretty, pretty powerful, which is, she makes a great ally and a terrible enemy. What is the verdict on the Dark Universe Crossfire mod? I think this mod is very fun. I think you just have to be aware of the possible negative side effects for your NPCs. There may also be some issue with bounties. For example, if you rescue a stranded ship and it has turrets and you destroy the turret, I got a bounty from that and Andreja and Sarah did not like it. <laughs> so uh, I was able to pay off the bounty and I was able to persuade them that it was all cool. But uh, I made a note to the mod author that that was something that I'd encountered. So maybe that's something that could be adjusted in the future. But uh, we're cl closing here with a powerful hostile signal encounter. And I'm dealing with some pretty large Varun ships and a profit ship as well, which is causing me a lot of issues. As you can see, my shields are offline. So this mod is great. I recommend you check it out if you're on PC, and hopefully we'll be getting mods soon on the Xbox console, and we'll be able to bring the modding community to everyone who plays Starfield. So if you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you've got mods that you'd like me to try out and do a video on, please let me know in the comments. My name is Richard, and I will see you in the Starfield.